match as we will see Malice take on Anarchy. And I would say right now that looks like it's going to be one hell of a good match for today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a good show, so please, 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 to be friends, families, uncles, everybody can down here. As your HW will be starting in about three minutes. Alright, looks like we gotta have a card a crowd showing up now. So ladies and gentlemen, in about two minutes, you'll see those lights live like Christmas tree. I want everybody to make some noise as soon as that happens. If you do not have any crowd chance, if you look to the left of me, we do have wrestling crowd chance available. All you need to do is just open that up, activate the gestures, and then you can make some noise with us, ladies and gentlemen, as UHW will be starting in two minutes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one minute until showtime. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise. As the star of the show.
Yo, right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UHW. This is your captain speaking, Captain Rainbow Falcon. Alongside me is the one. Hi, I'm Dad, and welcome to another edition of UHW. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, as we are going to have one hell of a show for tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're just going to go right into match one. Let me just get confirmation from the back. And referees in the ring. She's ready to go is Dawn Grace. All right. So, all right. So, here we go for match one. So, uh, do you want to introduce the first report? Sure. Coming from Louis, uh, New Orleans, yeah, Louisiana, weighing in at 132 pounds at a height of 5 foot 4 inches, this is Simply Devilish, Maxine Darkwatch. I can tell you right now, Maxine always looks like she's already, she's always prepped. And there you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, here comes to ring her opponent from parts unknown, weighing 120 pounds at high of five foot five. She is Crimson Shadow. So I'm not in the mood, Grimmy.
Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like uh, both wrestlers are ready in the ring as uh, our ref Don Grace is check up, making sure both of them are good to go. Now, I've seen both of them in the ring before. Uh, they both. Well, let's see what they do. So let's have reference, make sure both of them are ready. I'm surprised um, and, oh. Kieran hasn't escorted Maxine to ringside today. Hmm. It's probably because he's probably getting ready for his match later on tonight. <laughs> probably. Yep, oh, as looks like a... Uh, offering a handshake and saying, have a good match. And Krim is like, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> it's obvious Crimson does not want to. Oh, that's why. <laughs> so that's a trap. And there she goes, straight to a wrist lock. As Crimson says, nope, you ain't fooled me twice, as she tosses Maxine into her ropes, and she comes right off, and... Ooh! Crimson catches her with a wrenching with Sog this time. She's just wrenching down her arm, trying to, you know, do a little bit of damage. And, oh, straight into a kick to the gut as Crimson runs off the ropes into a spin wheel, but she misses as Maxine dodges it. As Maxine's yeah, right behind Crimson, Crimson and she doesn't see her. Very agile. And, ay, as there goes Maxine with a nice drop kick right to the mush. I think she got her right underneath the nose, too. It's a painful spot to get hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, but Maxine is not even close to being done with her yet. She picks her up and throws her right to the corner. And once Maxine looks like she's setting up about here. Uh oh. So Maxine's getting ready. And here she comes. It looks like she's going for Sinner's Fate. She's lining her up perfectly. As a. Uh, depends on timing. That's right, as Crimson's down there. No, she went for basement dropkick, but Crimson just manages to move out of the way outside to the. Re well, outside right to the. Did that hurt? I mean, that must have caught on Maxine's ankle. Oh, yeah, as we know, Maxine has a, has, uh, a lot of cases of bad legs, and. Oh! Crimson with a nice spin wheel kick. She just goes flying. Oh, wait, and here she goes for a cover. And only a two count. You cannot underestimate uh, Crimson here. That's right, that's a little tight, like Crimson is uh, waiting for. Oh, here comes Crimson's shadow, goes straight from Maxine, and oh, back body drops, sending Crimson right to the mat. And oh, Maxi has her from behind. She has her from behind. She has her hair. This is not good. But, ooh, what was that? I'm gonna freeze down and wash and, the hair. Oi! Yeah, it's Maxi hair with that spinning back end. Oh, she goes for the intrinsic goody.
That name is always hard to say. And here she goes with the cover. The one, two, and no. Oh. No way, Maxine puts this in Drizzy Gurley. <laughs> Oh, Maxine says, not bad, not bad. It looks like she picks up uh, Crimson. It looks like Crimson is just days out of her mind right now. And, ooh, hard brown, ooh. Brownhouse kicks right to Maxine as Crimson is just laying it in right now. Crimson is very lethal with those legs and those freaking Ooh a vicious chop Oh a chop by Maxine Uh oh and they're just doing a chop battle ladies and gentlemen As they're just chopping away <laughs> Oh and never mind Maxine just catches Crimson with a punch a right one a left a right and right to a kick to Gus. This is just a straight out brawl, ladies and gentlemen. And Maxie said, screw that, I'm just gonna DT you. <laughs> Maxine gets up as this is turned to this turn to one hell of a fight right now. It's not even a wrestle match, it's just a fight. And Maxine's going for the pin now. Yes, will this be it? One, two, and no. Looks like they just got more left hand. Looks like Maxine is, uh... uh oh, she's thinking what's it gonna take to take it out. And looks like uh, Maxine is moving closer to Crimson. It's gonna be bad as she throws her right to the ropes. Here she comes and oh my god! Shining black to the face! <laughs> Very nicely done. She just gotta keep it right on her. Yep. Oh, wait a second, here goes Crimson. And she goes for. Oh my god! Shadow Rising! Shadow Rising. Yep, I think uh, Maxine is sleeping it's with the crickets right now. One, two, three. Really? Ladies wow. and gentlemen, the winner of this match, Crimson Shadow. That was... damn. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> As Crips of the Shadow takes a big win. I'll tell you right now, Maxie's going to have a hell of a headache right now. And it looks like Crimson is helping Maxine up and oh never mind as Maxine said nope. <laughs> it's a little bit of vicious chop to Crimson Sarah right to the floor. And she called Crimson a cheater. Wow, I, poor Amby. And Chris is pissed off right now. She says that she's pissing, pissing her off. I'll tell you right now, this is probably going to be lasting until a couple of weeks from now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe uh, we're going to be moving on to, uh, I'm going to see what the production in the back wants us to do. And it looks like we're going to be reading our sponsors, so, uh, Death, you might you start like off for...
<laughs> uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay I'll, I'll go first. So, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors for their support of United on Wrestling. You can find our information and landmarks in the back of the arena. These include Honey Blunt's Designs, Get Like Me Big Baby Animations by Derek Holt, Dominion Animations, Black Dragon Animations, Future Based Wrestling Gear, Absolute Animations, Anime Girl, TyrusDenova.blogspot.com, RZ Weapons, Viper Studios, Just Imagine Photography, and Sickful Desires Dance Club. Alright, so I'll go and read the first one, so ladies and gentlemen. So, new, new, new! Avina's Weaponry is back on the Korea Sim and now featuring a subscriber to keep updated with the latest releases. Do you know that not only is Avina a wrestler, but a manager, cop, wrestler, and weapons builder as well? Even. She even rips off Voodoo's advertisement. <laughs> Come down to the store by the big stage in Korea is for all your one, two dual handed sword needs. Come. Coming soon, by Friday. Wear your UHW tag and get a 25% discount. Yeah, okay, so I guess I'll read all of them. You can go. Can I go? Can, can I go? Okay. Yes. <laughs> and for all your eclectic desires, Abyssal Nico Design has the latest in mesh clothing as well as some of men's clothing and more coming soon. Visit us on the marketplace where you can find all the latest in the new twisted designs. We also have custom work at fair prices. Contact Lillian Lancaster in World for more details. Or pick up a, a note card at the marketplace store. Wanna catch the latest happenings in Second Life Wrestling? The Joe Wrestling Roundtable is a bi-weekly talk show hosted by Rama Yoshiro, Kupamasek, Lalandra Lancaster, Ash Cuervo, and Maxine Darkwatch, as they all discuss the best news in SL Wrestling. We talk about all the hot topics going in and out of the ring and provide show results from your favorite federations. You can join us every other Friday at 2.30pm SLT at the DWRT Studios on the Isle of Misfit Wrestlers or on our website. Join our group or Facebook page, DWRT. We put fun in dysfunctional. Make sure you visit our fan page on Facebook where you can catch all the latest happenings in UHW. And if anyone wants to keep an abreast of the in-world happenings, make sure you ask for one of our management team for a UHW United Fan uh, United Fan Tag. Oh my god, I can't talk. United Fanatic Fan Tag. I swear, they need to change that to something better to read. On your way out, don't forget to stop by the official UHW merchandise shop located across the street to pick up your posters, t-shirts, and other commemorative memorabilia, including one-of-a-kind authentic sports folks and your favorite professional sport. I'm sorry, you cut out on that last part. Damn it! <laughs> okay, <laughs> And don't forget, folks, the UHW Just, is uh, proud to put on these amazing shows, but we cannot do it without your generous support. There's a blue donation box right behind us here in the commentary table. If you feel so inclined, please drop in a few lindens into it to help us keep running. On behalf of everyone here at the United Honor Wrestling, we thank you for your support. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, as I believe we're going to be moving on directly into the match two, ladies and gentlemen, as this will be for the number one contenders match for the UUC title, ladies and gentlemen. So this will be a number one contenders match for the United Universal, uh, the United Universal Championship. So, introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in 165 pounds, a height of 5 foot 11, he is Tyler Corvas.
Well, now, I haven't seen it. Tyler in the ring that? in quite some time now. Oh, sorry about that. No, I know they said he was short, but I don't think he was that short. No, but I haven't seen him in the ring for quite some time, and it's been a while. <laughs> Production, please cut my music. I gotta say something right now. Yes, right now. God, am I in such a good mood. Well, unfortunately, I was in a good mood until something happened. By the way, what's up there, Falcon? Hi, Death. How you doing? Hello, good night, you are. So, Philly sake, I mean... <laughs> ha ha ha. But, I'd like to let everyone know, I'm finally back. Yes! Oh, However, yay. however, I would like to address something here that I witnessed yesterday. I would like to address this because I want to get it off my chest. Yesterday, at Havoc, I saw something that made me angry. Yes, it made me very angry. Something that wants me to beat the holy heck out of someone. And who is that someone, you ask? Kieran Darkwatch. Yes, Kieran. I'm calling you out, Kieran. And you know why? I'm calling you out for what you did to Manuel. When you were in the interview with him, not only did you hit him, but you freaking DDT'd him. And you stomped him out. Really. You stomped him out and DDT'd him. Do you even realize how much of a jerk that makes you look? So come on, Dark Watch. Come out here and spring yourself. Come on. Right now. Well, I believe he's, uh, trying to bring out Kieran. All right, cut the music. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. So, you want an explanation. You saw what happened. That arrogant prick accused me of cheating in a match that had no rules. I explained myself to him that he was making a big deal out of nothing. I tried to smile and move on, but he just kept pushing me. I've worked hard to redeem myself and try to make up for all the shit that I've done in the past, only to have him slander me and try to make me look like a monster. I tried to end it peacefully. I tried to walk away, but he took another jab at me. I snapped, plain and simple. Ha <laughs> ha, you see? You see, Kieran, this is where you're wrong. You don't have to go out and do what you did. Okay, maybe he did have to say what he had to say, but it doesn't give you a right to smack him around. I mean, he has a right to an opinion, Kieran. You know, actually, you know what? You know what? How about I smack you around, Dark Watch, and show you how much of a bully you are? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm the bully? He attacked me. I merely defended myself. 
how about I show you how it feels to be personally attacked and to see how you react when you're the one being provoked. Oh shit. Oh, uh, right. Um, is this an official match? Uh, it is for the number one contender, it is. But, uh... As you already know, Kieran is the current, uh, Challenger's Choice, uh, champion. Should I do his... Injury? So, if, if he wins this match, he has a... He has opportunity to place two belts on him right now. Okay, um... Um... Yes, uh, yeah, you can do this. The challenger. <laughs> Challenger's... Isn't it? I don't know. Uh, production? Okay, I guess it's a, an official match. The referee is checking both opponents here. So, without any further ado, the challenger, uh, coming from the hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 258 pounds, a height of 6 foot 3 inches, Kieran Darkwatch. Referee saying both men are clean. Well, weapon wise, that is. <laughs> anyway. And there's the bell. This match is officially underway. Excuse me. Excuse me again. That's right. It looks like both wrestlers are getting ready to go at it. That's who immediately into a lockup. Now, height-wise, Kieran does have the advantage here, and he does have the more experience than Tyler. But who do you think has the, you know, chance of actually, do you actually think Tyler has a chance <laughs> of winning this match? I don't know, but Tyler just slapped the holy hell out of Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler does have, you know, youth and speed on his side. Maybe just gotta wonder if that's enough. Maybe Atala's just getting pounded on right now. Ooh, and a hip toss nicely executed by Kieran, followed by a stomp. Things are looking too good for Tyler right now. He looks like he's struggling. <laughs> yeah, it does look like he's struggling. Kieran asking, how does it feel? Now we just got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> I 
I tell you right now, both of these competitors are very and good at what they do right now. Karen's face. Told you, Tyler does. Like have I said, Tyler is good. Tyler's good as what he does. Oh, he's little, so he's really good as a high flyer. He can easily, you know, propel his body. Oh my God. But doesn't mean. Yeah, but you got. Like yeah, but you can't take it back. Yeah, but you can't take anything away from Kieran. Kieran can friggin... He could turn a tide in a blink of an eye. Oh, I don't know. And then and he'll just hound on you. Kieran has the... Kieran has the most experience compared to Tyler. And he has been champion so many times. So, yes. Kieran does have skills. He knows what he's doing in the ring. Tyler's still a puppy. But, uh... You, who knows? Uh, he might have a little bit of puppy power. <laughs> Now that you have a puppy power. And, and uh, oh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, no. Can't can't think about it, but uh, don't want to say watch the rockberries. Really, rockberries? Is that the best? Oh, and instead he goes after that leg. I said he just saved Tyler's future children. And Kieran is just going directly after that leg. He said he's he wants to make sure Tyler has a full disadvantage no matter what. Yeah, oh, it looks like he's going for that ankle lock. As he has that locked in, but Tyler's good trying to grab the ropes. You gotta hand it to the referee. At least he's paying attention to both men. That's true, Ram, but friggin' Kieran is just not letting go, and he. Let's go back to the last minute. And really, Dawn? Did you just call him a mini pooty head? Welcome to the second grade, everyone. Uh. Right now, the Kieran is doing what he does, but he's just stopping the way. Sorry, Tyler, he can't stop. He's a wrestler. It's what he does. Part of his job description. To make his opponent suffer. I'm telling you right now, the crowd is into this. And Tyler, oh my god, he fell right back into, right onto his back. That leg must. Oh, and Kieran shoves him back. <laughs> Kieran shoves him again. And Tyler is like getting a little pissed off. And oh, punch to the face.
And, and Kira's like, sell booty so I act like one. And, oh, he just slapped Tyler across the face. You do not it's slap with the, oh. <laughs> Kira's like, you go cry now. Uh oh. I don't know about you, but I think Tyler's about to explode. And Tyler's just saying, stop it. And he just... And holy his own medicine and punched him in the face. Damn! That was a hell of a punch by Tyler also. Amy Kill was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, but here comes Tyler. This comes in. Oh, he's just going and he's just laying into it. And he stops, stops on it. He goes for a pin. Will this be it? One, two, and no. As it's two zero six. Don't think Karen's very happy right now. I don't think he expected that coming from the little man over there. And she said two. I don't think he expected that either. But almost, hell, who, who will? That's right, this ref knows how to count very good. And whew. And Kieran's at the corner and Tyler's looks like Tyler's stalking. And oh my god, what a vicious spear by Kieran that he just stomps on Tyler. He's gonna pick him up. It's not good for Tyler as so oh Kieran has him in front face lock. Nope. Kieran has to like, stay on the little man because like I said, Tyler is full of energy in him, so it's gonna take a little bit to get him to wear down. That's true, but look where Kieran is right now as he's at the corner getting ready to show Tyler a thing or two and he hits him with a hell of a kick. Maxine cheering on her husband. Oh, here comes Tyler with that quickness that he just sweeps Kieran's legs right from under him. And Tyler has him in his lock now. That's what's Tyler going for. As he says, like, okay, okay, you are Mr. Mayo. All right, fine. <laughs> 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 
And he, he did a DDT to Kieran. I think Kieran's head just bounced off the mat. Now he's just stomping away on him. Oh, and Talo for a little bit of all thunder. And Talo says, I know, wait, what does he mean he knows? What does Talo know? Oh no, I know what Talo's going for. He signed that match there, which is not really a piece of paper, but it's rather the signing of the independence, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to go for it, and oh, he nails it! What do you mean the move, signing the independence? You know, it took days for the independence to finally complete this move, right? But this is why Tyler's cool, because he could sign it like then there, as one, two, and oh, no. And that didn't finish off Kieran, so Tower doesn't know what to do. Aw, oh, but Q with the eye rake. And a vicious lariat. Good night, Irene. Impressive. I like those Mortal Kombat gestures. I don't know, but it looks like Kieran's pick up Tyler now. And, ooh, the lights out. Lights someone's out. Gonna, someone's gonna need a Tyler now after this match. Oh, and going to a no never as it was a 2.923. Damn. The ref is pretty damn accurate when it comes to counts. Oh, but Tyler's up. Tyler is up, ladies and gentlemen, as <laughs> Kieran's telling him to stay down. Kieran wants him to stay down. Kieran needs him to stay down. And here comes Tyler running up full force. Ooh. And was was that called a P Larry kick? Hello. Yeah, and it looks like Tyler say he needs more. And oh, basic drop kick to the face.
And a leg stretch by Tyler just. Tyler's taking a little bit, uh, try to do a little bit of revenge, try to go after Kieran's legs this time. And Tyler with a rebound corkscrew body is landing on him. If he's going to want this, he's going to have to go for the pin now and get him while he still can. And oh, you're paying up a cut. Okay, yeah, you definitely better invest in like Advil or Tonal because, yeah, these men are going to need it. Oh, Tyler Shound Freedom. As he's going for Freedom's Vengeance. And is he gonna tap? Sun's checking. The crowd is shouting for Kieran to tap. As Kieran is trying to get back to the ropes. Kieran is struggling. He can't pull Kieran's him reaching for the Kieran. ropes. And Don's saying, what He's do you say? I don't know. He's reaching for it, but... Oh boy, and Tyler's trying to. Tyler's trying to get some support as he's trying to keep that hold in, and Kieran taps! He taps! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, Tyler Corvitz. That was a big win for Tyler also. Well, you gotta give it to... to both competitors here. I mean, they both put on a really good match and they both put on some really hard moves in there. That's right, they have they they did. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to Zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, 
and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.